वेलकम टू आरोर केमिस्ट्री फॉर एवरी वन सोडियम प्लस वाटर गिव सोडियम हईड्रॉक्साइड प्लस हईड्रजन दिस इज ए वर्ड इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट लेट एस कन्वर्ट इन टू स्केलेटल इक्वेशन द सिंबल ऑफ सोडियम इज एन ए प्लस वाटर केमिकल फॉर्मुला ऑफ वाटर इज हेच टू ओ गिव सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो इट इज ए कॉम्पाउंड टू फाइंड द केमिकल फॉर्मुला ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड we should know the formula symbol of sodium and hydroxide it's a polyatomic ions so for sodium na and for hydroxide oh the charge of sodium is 1 plus and for oh 1 minus ions so when we criss cross we will get like na1 and oh1 so this we can write it like naoh so this is the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide so let us write the formula of sodium hydroxide naoh plus hydrogen hydrogen is a diatomic molecule so we will write h2 this is a skeletal equation so this side is a left hand side and this is a right hand side so left hand side reactants are here when they react we get the product in the right hand side so in left hand side we are going to write number of atoms of elements 1 by 1 so let us write first in a number of atom only one for hydrogen we have two atoms see listen here Th there is a number written down in h2o for hydrogen down here also for hydrogen here we have Two, so this is subscript. It tells about the number of atoms in a compound or in a molecule. So remember that you do not change for change this subscript for balancing the reactions. So for oxygen, we have only one. Same order. Let us follow in the right hand side also. So for Na, we have only one. Then for hydrogen. Here one, here we have two. So one plus two is equal to three. We have then for oxygen only one. Now we go to draw a column and we will write difference. If you write this difference column, you will never ever make mistake for balancing any chemical equations. Here we will write the difference between number of atoms in left hand side and right hand side. For example, sodium, one minus one will give zero. But for hydrogen, we have three hydrogen atoms in the right hand side. So three minus two, we have only one. For oxygen, one minus one, we will get zero. So until we get zero in difference column, we will balance the equation. So to make that this difference column here. Zero. We need to change that number of atoms in the left hand side of hydrogen. So we try to multiply with two, and we will get four. So this two as a coefficients we are going to change in front of, going to put in front of H two. So this is called coefficients. So now you can see when you write two, the number of oxygen atom also is changing. So we will cut one and we will write two. Now. Find the difference. You can see the difference is same for hydrogen, but for oxygen, there is a change in difference. So we cut zero and we will write two minus one one. So to balance that oxygen, let us multiply with two here. So this two we will as a coefficient we will put in front of any OH. Now you see. Number of sodium also changing, number of hydrogen atom also changing. Now for hydrogen, here two, then here also so two, so two plus two four. So this three we cut and write four. For sodium, also changing into two. Let us see the difference now. For hydrogen, four minus four, zero. So we will cut zero. Then for Sodium, it is difference is one. So to make it zero in the difference column, let us multiply with two. 
this two as a coefficients let us write in front of sodium 2 n a so now see the difference 2 minus 2 0 now for oxygen also 2 minus 2 0 so now we got 0 for all the elements in different column let us check once again left hand side atoms and right hand side atoms for sodium number of atoms 2 then for right hand side also 2 for hydrogen here it is 4 then right hand side also 4 for oxygen also 2 and here also 2 so it is completely balanced so the answer is thanks for watching